Attention please, this is your captain speaking. We expect some turbulence, crash pilots and AK sprays. Please buckle up and watch this video very carefully. Thank you for flying with Scientist Airline. Currently there are three player usable helicopter in Rust. The Minicopter, the Scrapcopter and the not finalized Chinook. Yes, the Chinook actually drops the lock traits, but can be flown by players on test servers. Today we will take a look on how you can safely fly the Minicopter and Scrapcopter, what is very important and what you can do in case you will crash. If you don't want your helicopter to get out of control, fly into something or explode, there are a few simple tips and tricks which you can follow. The most important one is that you should set the DPI of your computer mouse to its maximum while flying. Don't forget to have enough fuel with you. The minicopter uses 30 fuel per minute. It is also recommended to practice flying on a test server before your first flight to get a feel for the minicopter. If you are looking for a good service, you can simply type minicopter into the server search and use the commands slash mini and slash heli to spawn helicopters. If you are new to the game and you would like to join a server anyway, then you can search for the server EU Vanilla Noob Friendly No Decay Minicopter. On this old school server here are still minicopters which spawn on the street and don't have to be bought. The server is wiped once a month and my buddy and me, we are playing here kinda often to have fun and enjoy the community. In the past you could find minicopters on the road at Rust, but now this is only possible on servers with mods. Vanilla servers still offer you flying fun and you can buy the minicopter in Bandit Camp for 750 scrap. At the same place you can also get the scrap copter for 1250 scrap. The minicopter decays over time and thus takes damage. You can repair the minicopter very cheaply with a hammer and metal fragments. Outside of buildings the minicopter decays in 8 hours, inside buildings in 48 hours. So it's recommended to build a helicopter garage. If your helicopter gets stuck somewhere you can push it. Sometimes it is not so easy to get a push action signal displayed on the monitor. In this case you can hold down the E key on your keyboard and use the action menu to push the minicopter. When you have the minicopter in front of you, you can mount it by pressing E for mount. If you sat on the passenger seat and not the pilot seat, you can change the seat with the X key. If you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, you can turn around and assess the fuel tank. To start the minicopter, press the W key on your keyboard once. And before we fly, we can put the minicopter into driving mode by holding the CTRL control key. By pressing this button, we stay on the ground and can drive. To let the helicopter take off, press the W key and keep it pressed until you reach the desired altitude. If you want to get higher and higher, you press W and keep it pressed. If you want to get down again, it's the button S and you get down. As well, you can use the button S for emergency braking, but this is depending on the situation. With the keys A and D, you turn the minicopter to the left and the right. But only by pressing A and D, you won't have a good flight. It's very important as well that you move the mouse accordingly. If you don't move the mouse while you're flying, you will maybe crash. The helicopter always flies into the direction where the rotor is pointing. It doesn't matter where the player is looking at. The rotor determines where we fly. You control the rotor with your mouse. If you move the mouse forward, the minicopter will also tilt forward. With this movement, we go into a dive and pick up speed. To counteract, we can drag the mouse backwards and this will break the helicopter or make it fly backwards. If you move the mouse to the left or the right, the rotor will tilt in the corresponding direction. The main concentration when flying a minicopter is often to keep the minicopter on straight line. It's important that you slow down the minicopter in time and that you have enough altitude for appropriate stunt maneuvers. Once you can fly the minicopter, it's not much of a challenge to fly the scrapcopter either. The scrapcopter can transport several people and is well suited for clan raids. While the minicopter costs 750 scrap, the scrapcopter is costing 1250 scrap at the bandit camp. One advantage of the scrapcopter over the minicopter is that the scrapcopter can activate a cabin lightning and a searchlight with the F key. So it's much easier to fly at night. If you thought of shooting bazooka rockets out of the scrapcopter, 
you probably shouldn't do this because in the most of the times you hit the helicopter and the scrap copter will explode. The two helicopters actually fly mainly the same. But where the scrap copter is the little brother from gym class, the scrap copter is the cake loving aunt from next door. The scrap copter flies correspondingly sluggish. A maximum DPI is absolutely recommended. To counteract rotations, you steer the mouse with hard movements into the other direction. Personally, I prefer flying the scrap copter much more than the mini copter, but with this setting I'm absolutely alone. In case you lose control of the minicopter or the scrap copter and you probably will crash, this doesn't have to be the end of your player's life. Just wait until you're almost at the ground and in the last moments press the space button and leave the helicopter. The helicopter will crash but you will survive. At this point a big thank you to all of you for watching this video and also to my buddy for flying the stunt flights over the dome, sewer branch and the outpost with me for this video. He is one of the best pilots on Rust and his flying skills have saved our bots and our loot many times. A little bonus tip for all those who have stuck with this video so far. With the helicopter you can save the dome run and fly directly to the roof of the dome and collect the boxes there. The same goes for the sewer branch, just fly to the top and collect the boxes and crates. You can also fly a somewhat daring maneuver at the launch site and Vus skip the puzzle path. In this case you will lose your minicopter but you will get many elite crates and military crates. In case there are any questions left, just leave your question in the comments and we will try to answer them as fast as possible. As, as well, me and my buddy are both watching the comments and we both can answer and try to help you as good as we can. If you wish any other videos, for example the ones which describe how you can fly to the launch site and skip the puzzle, then just leave it in the comments and let us know.